One of the games I'm really looking forward to this week, Buck, Bills taking on the Raiders, two two pretty hot teams right now. Two pretty hot teams. The Bills are finally getting untracked, and the Raiders are rolling. Maybe the best team in the AFC. Right, two marquee players. You see them right behind us here in LaShawn McCoy. And Khalil Mack, what do you see when you break down McCoy on tape, Buck? Uh, Shady McCoy is the driving force of that offense. And what I've seen from them is they've done a great job of putting him in a situation where he can have big plays on the perimeter and also inside. Here we see offset, eye formation, pistol set. Tyrod Taylor taking to the corner. little option play. Shady McCoy has done a great job of when he gets inside the 10, he finds a way to get into the paint. Outstanding play. Here we're going to see, once again, offset eye. A little power formation, a little zone. One on one. This is what he has Ooh. always been able to do throughout his career. Get your he foot can down. make defenders miss. Two unblocked defenders in the hole. Both of them are unable to get a hand on him. He takes this all the way. 75 yard touchdown. You talk about a big time player being able to deliver in the run game. Shady McCoy does that. How about this stat? What does that tell you? How about seven and oh when he gets a hundred plus rush yards? To me, it just says the game plan needs about Shady McCoy getting 20-plus touches so they can get 100 yards. Well, they're going to have a challenge, though, this week because the Raiders are led by one of the best defensive players in the entire league, and that's Khalil Mack. You see the nine sacks, the three forced fumbles. How about against the Carolina Panthers here, Buck? Here's the instincts of a Khalil Mack. In a sense, he's got a soft set here from the tackle going, hey, mm-hmm. wait a second, get my radar up here. I'm going to jump back, get my hands on a football, pick it off and take it in for a touchdown. So being able to feel that resistance not there from the tackle, that is just an instinctive play, heck of an athletic play as well. And then you want to finish the game. We talk about closers. You say Rivera. I say Trevor Hoffman. Uh, Neither here nor there. Watch him get his hands straight up in the air. Going to lift him, get underneath him, find the quarterback. Don't worry about hitting him. Just swipe the ball out and then fall on it. And that's going to do it for the game. So that's just an example. Two plays of his athleticism as well as his intelligence, Buck. He has everything. He has everything. And they've done a great job of putting him on the left side of the defense, facing against right tackles. He's dominating people with his power game. His ability to create those plays at the end of the games has been a huge difference. You see it right there. Six straight games with at least one sack. So... Khalil Mack is rolling, but that Buffalo Bills ground game is rolling, Buck. This is going to be a heck of a matchup. Heck of a matchup. And the thing about Khalil Mack playing left defensive end, he's playing on the strong side of most teams because most teams prefer to run to the right. They put a tight end there, they run at him. You're talking about a guy that can set the edge. He won't give up those big space, that big crevice that Shady McCoy likes to attack. This is a tough game for the Buffalo Bills. It's going to be kind of dicey for them. These are two of your teams here. Buffalo. Two of my former teams. Buffalo, so I'm going to go. Where are you going? It's tough because once a Raider, always a Raider. But in this one, I just believe at some point the Buffalo Bills have to snatch up a team that's better than them. I'm going to say on the road they find a way to get this one done. Let's go to Buffalo Bills in this one. Bucky, what color is your sweater? Uh, it's gray. I'm going to say silver. Silver. Silver and black. That's what color is my shirt? It's black. Oh, you're making a lot of fans. See, you're playing to the fans. The Raider playing, fans are still hot at me because fans. I picked Carolina last week. I'm not making that mistake again. I'm going to go with the Oakland Raiders. Get it done. A very close competitive football game.